Hey, I saw you move in. I just thought I'd introduce myself. I live just down the hall 227. I, um, thought it'd be a good time. You left your keys in the door, so it wouldn't be very neighborly of me to stand by and watch. You know I don't mind standing in the doorway, but if you don't invite me in, I might just help myself. Oh, hey. I was tired of waiting. I thought I'd give you keys face to face. I live here long enough to know when an unlocked door gets you. So, hi, America. It's a pleasure. I can't lie. I've been meaning to talk to you. I just couldn't help myself. It's so important that you know. I hate to say it, but the apartment you just moved into just got a beautiful new view. So I thought I'd invite myself over to come and see it. You are one gorgeous view. Mind if I come in? I think I like to look at it a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm joking. Lighten up. I can see the tomato red blush on your face. You're such a cutie. But I promise I don't bite. Well, not unless you like that sort of thing. I couldn't help but notice that you live alone, yeah? So I thought the loving and generous neighbor that I am would order takeout for two. I have a sense for these things. Right now, I'm thinking you and I are hungry, and you should invite me in, yeah? What a gentleman. I love boys with manners. It's even better when he makes me feel special. You'll make me feel special, won't you? <laughs> Settle down, you tomato can. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> if you don't like your nickname, tomato can, then you can ask nicely to stop. Maybe you could catch up and have a pet name for me. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stop. Lighten up, yeah? You seem so down or sad. I'm just trying to cheer you up, Mr. Mopey. Humor me. It ain't the end of the world. In fact, I'd feel pretty darn special if you laughed at my jokes. Hey, I'm sorry if this came off wrong. I just saw you moving your stuff in with the same old frowny face. And I don't know. I just thought I'd turn it upside down. If it's too much, just tell me. I don't want to impose. I know how weird this is. An older woman invites herself over. I just thought a young guy like you might need some company. You don't move in here without something in your life going wrong. So I thought a meeting you could be different. Besides, I won't take no as an answer. You'll eat your food and enjoy my company, alright? So hush and be grateful. You got a lot to be happy about. Number one, you have a beautiful apartment with an even prettier neighbor. Number two, I didn't just come here for the view. Now that you have a partner to eat dinner with every night. And finally, number three, you have your premium first class listener. That's right. I was voted best amateur therapist by my colleagues. So don't worry. You can depend on me. I absolutely adore the stressed overwork type. So fragile to keep safe. So strong until they land in my lap. Listen to every little thing they say. It makes all the difference, I promise you. Oh, of course not, Mr. Frowny. You're definitely the healthy, positive, coping skills type of guy. I can tell that you're not the type to overwork and overburden yourself with the work and responsibility. You wear that frown with pride, and I'll do my best to take it from you. With pride. Besides, you're really lucky. I don't just steal frowns, you know. I'll take everything from you. No more frowns or depression or work. I'll make it my devotion to see you all to myself. <laughs> hey, I know what I like. Who can blame me if I get a little attached? There's something awfully special about you. You want to know what it is? It's that beautiful heart. More than anything, I love a man with a good heart. Honest and hard-working heart. I might just have to take it for myself. <laughs> I kid. But I did notice you work so long and are always alone. Well, 
I want to be the only person you're alone with. Long days without anyone can make the most introverted people sad. I recognize that frown anywhere. I like to help with that. I know how awkward this might be. So much for small talk, right? I know the moment I saw you, I was hooked. It's not just how you look or talk. It's everything. I just had to meet you and see you for myself. You're so special. Yet, without doing a thing, you made me wonder. What in the world can make you so sad? It wasn't the frown or how tired you look. I just had to know for myself. Hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> I mean, what's wrong? I know something's up. Yeah, maybe I haven't known you forever. It's obvious, though. Hey, I... Look, you don't have to tell me, but don't lie to yourself. I can see you squirming in your seat. There's no way you go day by day neglecting yourself, not making sure you're happy. It just ain't right. All right, I'll relax. I know it's hard to admit, but let's take a step back. You are... Someone I really like to spend time with. I can't spend time with you if you are always feeling down, so... I think it's best if you try your best to... Make time for yourself. To smile and let me take care of you. So how about you just try to tell me what's wrong? Can you do that? Good. I'm really proud of you. So, let me hear it, yeah, big dork? Alright, well, how does it make you feel? It can't be easy. One minute, things are great, and before you know it, you're stressed beyond belief. So what's that like? Hey, you know, you did such a good job telling me what you were going through, and I'm so happy I got to listen. It makes me feel so special. If you keep this up, I might just end up catching feelings. Well, maybe we're already past that point. It's... I know this whole evening has been tough, but you are just the most amazing thing in the world. Just promise me one thing. I... I want to be with you from now on. I mean, really. The only one to listen, eat and to talk with you about this sort of stuff. Don't get me wrong, I know you have your own life to live and other people, but hey, it's best for both of us if you make time for me. So, don't forget when you get in from work every night. I'll have something for you, and in exchange, you'll tell me about your day, okay? Don't make a girl a promise you know you can't keep. I don't want you missing a day, mister. Because if you do, I'll make sure you regret it. If you can't make time for me, then you can't make time for anyone. So I'll make sure to keep that promise. It's best for us after all. Right? Right. Yeah. You're such a... Well, you're my one and only neighbor. <sighs> it's getting late, you know. It's been quite an evening. A lot on both on our plates recently. It's normal we'd be so tired. Hey, can you humor me one more time? I'm just feeling a little lonely, so can I rest my head on your shoulder? It's, um... Well, it'll just make me feel better. You'll make me feel better. So come on. Say yes. Yes! I mean, thank you. I feel comfortable with you. Just like you can depend on me. I get to rest my head on you. From now on, I'll be waiting for you after work. So hurry up, okay? <laughs> hey, I almost forgot. 
I guess you need these, huh? Well, take it then. Come on, I know you're faster than that. Unless you don't really want your keys back. Hey, I don't mind keeping them safe for you. Was that your plan, huh? Letting me keep the keys so I can wander in any time I please, hmm? <laughs> I guess if you really want these keys, well, I'll make you work for it, you old tomato can. <laughs> Come on, walk me to my apartment. At least a gentleman can do, hmm?